Okay, hello, hi guys. Uh, today let's look at power machine and fire. So we're going to concentrate on uh, boiler efficiency. So we have only uh, these two uh, formulas uh, uh, under boiler efficiency. So then uh, uh, this is the formula to calculate the boiler efficiency. Uh, this is the formula to calculate the equivalent evaporation. So uh, under boiler efficiency, when you calculate the boiler efficiency, we have the mass of the steam. Um, so uh, this uh, uh, mass of the steam is uh, it will be measured. Uh, the mass of the steam, let me write here. The mass of the steam will be if, will be measured in a uh, kilograms uh, per hour, or else uh, sometimes it's going to be in a uh, kilograms uh, per minute. But what you you, ha um, you must um, have in mind is that the unit for the mass of the steam must be uh, the same as uh, the unit for the mass of uh, the fuel so uh, these two units uh, must cancel each other so then if uh, the uh, the mass of uh, the steam is measured in kilometers uh, sorry in kilograms per hour therefore uh, you have to convert this one into kilometer uh, kilo kilogram per hour and then uh, we have uh, H2. This H2 is uh, either the superheated, it, uh, the question will specify if uh, the steam is being superheated or is a uh, dry. If uh, uh, the, the, the steam is being superheated uh, by uh, the boiler, therefore it's going to be uh, HM plus CP uh, into uh, TS super minus ts so if uh, the, the steam in, uh, in the boiler is uh, being superheated we're going to use um, this formula to calculate the superheated steam which means uh, this is the dry saturated steam plus uh, the uh, specific heat capacity of the steam multiplied by uh, this change in temperature with the superheated uh, temperature minus uh, the uh, sup uh, the the saturated temperature but this saturated temperature you can uh you have you will find it on uh, your steam table and then uh sometimes if you are given a dry saturated steam that means you have to use uh, the formula hf uh, plus uh, x which is hf uh, g so uh, there is this liquid enthalpy plus the dry the dryness friction of the steam multiplied by latent heat so or the sensible heat so uh, this h2 it will depend on uh, the question that uh, the is either the steam is being superheated or else if the steam is uh, dry or the steam is dry and then uh, h1 so uh, this h1 is uh, hf or the liquid enthalpy of the feed water temperature okay at the feed water temperature ne? so this one will be at the feed water temperature they will give you uh, the feed water temperature maybe for example if uh, the feed water temperature maybe is a uh, 43 degrees celsius that means uh, you go to uh, the steam table under um, 43 uh, degrees celsius so okay let's look at the, our steam table here uh, 43 degrees Celsius. Okay, let's take it uh, as a 43.8. Uh, now, so under this uh, the, um, uh, under this temperature, you're going to read your uh, la, uh, your liquid enter, which is going to be 183. Now, so this is um, how you're going to uh, attempt uh, when you calculate the boiler efficiency. So, and then uh, this is, um, okay, so here is uh, the mass of uh, the fuel and multiplied by the karyotic heat value. So, the karyotic heat value must be always in uh, kg, sorry, in kilojoules per kg. Yeah. So, if you are given in megajoules, then you have to co uh, convert from megajoules to uh, kilojoules. And then when you calculate uh, the liquid uh, enthalpy, uh, so when you calculate the uh, um, when you calculate the equivalent evaporation, the equivalent evaporation is the very same 
uh, formula. It's just that you have to um, substitute where uh, on the boiler efficiency you use uh, the current heat value. And then uh, here you're going to have to use 2,257. So this 200, this 2,257 is constant. Always when you calculate the boiler, the equivalent evaporation, the equivalent evaporation is always 800 degrees Celsius. So when you calculate uh, the equivalent evaporation, it's always on 100 degrees Celsius. So uh, let's look at uh, a question here. I have steam plant uh, supplies 510, uh, 5,200 kilograms of wet steam at a pressure of uh, 7, 780 kilo um, pascal every hour. So that means uh, this steam supplies 5,200 kg per hour of wet steam. Yeah? And then, um, so they say that the steam is two percent. Um, the steam is two percent wet, and the feed water temperature is uh, forty point three degrees Celsius. And the boiler, the boiler uses a six hundred and sixty kg of a fuel to supply five thousand. Uh, 500, uh, 5,200 uh, kg of steam uh, and the fuel uh, has a okay and the fuel has a heat value of um, 330 megajoules so the steam which is m s m s is equals to uh, 5,200 kilo gram per hour and then uh, again we are having our um, okay this is at a pressure at a pressure our steam is at a pressure of a 780 a kilo uh, pascal and then uh, we have our um, okay our feed water temperature our feed water temperature is at a uh, 40 point uh, three degrees Celsius that means here we're going to read H F at the uh, feed feed water temperature at forty point three degrees, and then uh, uh, we have the mass of the steam. Mass of the steam is equals to four six hundred and sixty kilo uh, gram and uh, of water. Okay, kilogram per hour, and then our kinetic heat value C V is equals to or our heat value is equals to 30 mega joules uh, per kg so uh, what you have to keep in mind here guys is that the, uh, the steam is a uh, is this one is the wet steam so therefore when you calculate h2 s2 we're going to use uh, the uh, wet steam which is uh, h is which is h2 uh, Okay, H2, therefore, that means now H2, our H2, uh, H2 will be equals to uh, HF plus HC, HFG. But the steam is, um, the steam is uh, 2% wet. Now, they say that the steam is 2% wet. Uh, that means uh, this one out of 100, ne? out of 100%, uh, percent, that means only two percent of the steam is wet and then therefore that means only 98 percent of uh, the steam is dry so that means it, and we're going to say it 100 uh, 100 minus 2 then we're going to have um we're going to have two okay let's say 100 minus 2 therefore we're going to have our um, uh okay we're going to have 98 uh, percent now 98 percent so that means uh here on 98 percent going to divide it by 100 and it give us 0 0.98 so this it becomes our dryness of friction that means uh out of a hundred percent only two percent of the steam is wet that means the remaining 98 percent of the steam is a dry now uh, therefore we're going to uh, put the um in our equation 
but uh, our the, our steam is at a, um, at a pressure of 780 kilo pascal so that means at 780 kilo pascal let's look at our steam table here uh, at 780 okay so at 780 kilo pascal this is uh, 780 kilo pascal right so at 780 kilo pascal our hf our hf is 717 that means h uh, F is equal to 717 and then our HFG HFG is equal to 2015 so therefore we're going to calculate our uh, so then we're going to have 717 uh, plus 0 0.89 multiplied by uh, multiplied by our dryness friction which is 205 uh, then we get our hf and then uh hf here h2 now h okay h1 which is our uh liquid enthalpy at the feed water temperature which is 40.3 therefore going to uh we will go to our steam table again at a pre at a temperature now now we're not looking at the pressure side but we are looking at the at this one is our temperature we are looking at the temperature so at a temperature of uh 40.3 degrees celsius we're going to look at hf H, hf which is our uh liquid enthalpy our liquid enthalpy is 160 at 170 sorry uh is where is it? Where is it? Uh, it's 169. Yeah, so it's 169. So, therefore, we're going to our uh, uh, formula now. They said uh, our formulas when calculate uh, them, when calculate the boiler efficiency, boiler efficiency is equal to the, uh, the mass of the steam into uh the uh, the the our dry our enthalpy which is our dry uh enthalpy is hf minus our water uh water feed temperature at uh 40 point this at 40 point three degrees celsius right divided by the mass of the fuel multiplied by our specific heat uh, capacity sorry our um, we're going to multiply it by uh, our heat value so then uh, now uh, we're going to just substitute then our uh, our um, what is it so our mass, mass of the steam is 5200 into and then the mass of uh the mass of okay then i did heat 717 uh, plus 0 0.98 uh, multiplied by 205 and then uh, minus uh, 169 all over our mass we have 610 multiplied by 13 multiplied by 1000 okay then uh, this is our um, uh, then we're going to multiply by 100 for our efficiency then uh, we'll find 67.154 uh, percent then when we calculate uh, the uh, equivalent evaporation the very same uh, information we'll substitute here and then you find our equivalent evaporation.